it this is a compiler design question the, there are two statements and we have to determine which of them is or are true now this s1 is saying that the sequence of procedure calls corresponds to a pre order traversal of the activation tree now what exactly do we mean by this we know that whenever the procedure calls are made which means it is like a recursion call for making a recursive call what do we do we use a stack and we create the activation records which are pushed into the stack and at the same time it is saying that the sequence in which the calls are made which means if we have any recursive function let us say f of n equal to f of n by 2 plus k something like that then what will happen if we try to trace it out in the tree format then it will look something like this we have f of n here then it will branch out into f of n by 2 and f of n by 2 then they will further branch out until we reach the base condition until that is hit we will keep calling the procedure calls so that is what it is talking about that the sequence in which the calls are made that corresponds to pre-order traversal of this activation tree that is what it is trying to say and then in the same way we have the statement s2 which is talking about the procedure returns so in the same way in s1 we were talking about the calls and in s2 we are talking about the returns which means the order in which we return from those function calls that corresponds to post order traversal of the activation tree so that is what we mean by both these statements now let us verify which of them is or are true so for example we have considered this particular activation tree over here we are not actually concerned what exactly does it correspond to or which recursive function does it belong to we simply have an activation tree and we will identify the sequence in which the procedures are called and returned so for that there are these two statements that we need to consider that a parent function calls its child function so as we had seen here f of n will call its children that is f of n by 2 and f of n by 2 so always a parent is called before its child a parent itself calls its children so this is what we use while calling and similarly while returning what do we do the child function is returned before its parent which means while returning from the function calls first both of its children or one of its children will be returned and after that the parent will be returned as you will see both the children are returned and then when they return their values to their parent then the parent returns the final value so that is how the recursive calls are made so now if we have this particular tree here a is the parent so we will proceed like this a will call its first child that is b so now b becomes the parent it has two children so it will call its first child that is b so on the other side let us also note down what is the calling order that we are getting so first we start with the root that is a after that we went to its first child that was b then d after this d is done it will return so this is the point where we are returning so that is d is the first activation record from where we are returning after that we go back to b nothing happens there then we come to e the first time we hit e it signifies a procedure call so e is called then come here it has no children so it will return so here e is returning so it is the second child node to be returned from that we come back to b and b has no more children so again that will return now coming to a and moving to its next right child that is c so c is called next then c has no children so it will simply return then from c we come back to a and return the final value so we have traced out what are the orders in which the procedures are called and what are the order in which the procedures are returned and if you look carefully this a b d e c this is nothing but the pre-order traversal for this tree and in the same way the order in which they are returned that corresponds to the post-order traversal of the given tree and that is what both of these statements were saying so we see that both the s1 and s2 are true so we'll be going with 
the third option that is both are correct.